I think my new goal is to have like a bold lip. Uh, it might somehow distract from these awful bags I have under my eyes. And this is with a ton of concealer. Welcome back to my channel today. I thought I would do a really, really quick six week postpartum update. I'm obviously sitting in my kitchen. Caleb is playing outside. I have Emma in the bouncer and I am rocking in with my foot because that is what a mum does. She multitasks. So I am six weeks postpartum and I had my um, checkup with the doctor yesterday. Um, if you don't know, I had a scheduled section six weeks ago, obviously. Um, <clears throat> Oh, sorry, I had a schedule section six weeks ago. This is my second cesarean section. And so obviously this scar tissue, this scar or a wound has to heal over scar tissue. So it's taking a little bit longer. I did have a couple of weeks of severe leakage. I was leaking out like a yellow fluid. And then I um, popped open two spaces on my wound. And so I was getting a bit of blood as well. I did go to the doctor at one point. Sorry, my arm strength is not great. It's not great, it's never been great. I can't actually hold the camera up. Ooh, he boomed on the window, or on the door. Um, so I did go in at about two weeks um, postpartum, I went, okay, I went back one week postpartum because they had to take off my Pico dressing. They looked at it, they said it was fine. I went back at two, two and a half weeks postpartum because it started to get really red and they just advised me that because I do have a belly um, and it was touching down on top of each other, I was just gonna get hot and sweaty and therefore uh, I just had to keep it covered. So what I've been doing is I've been using a maternity pad because they are so damn thick and I have been putting it underneath my belly. So I lie it on the scar so like, the um, side of it lies on the scar and then I tape it down with some tape I obviously don't tape off the take off the bit that goes in your knickers um and I hold down the tape and it's been helping I, be I was given like a fungal cream to put on it just to prevent like bacteria growing and I've also been oh god he's playing with a puddle <laughs> I uh, have also been putting some tal I call it talcy powder it's like talcum powder I've been putting some talcum powder on it and that really helps kind of dry it out and keep it from yeah, just if it gets too wet, it gets really red. And so that's what I've been doing to keep my wound nice and healthy. It isn't looking too bad. The bleeding parts have stopped. It's, I think it's looking really, really well, actually. The doctors do want to see me back kind of in a week's time just to keep an eye on it, make sure that it is healing well and, um, yeah, that is really it. I've kind of been given the all clear to do like a little light exercise and that kind of thing, which is fantastic. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm kind of just looking forward to getting out of the house. I've told my husband, John, that kind of come my six weeks postpartum, I'm going to be going out every evening for a little walk and literally I'm just going for a little walk and I'm going to kind of over time gradually build up to a jog. So I was jogging before I had Caleb. I was really enjoying it. It was, I, I found the exercise that I really loved. Make sure I don't have any lipstick on my teeth. I found the exercise that I really loved that really worked for me. Then I got pregnant with Caleb and I was terrified of like losing the pregnancy and cause it was plus size and I kind of stopped and then I didn't really get too much back into it before I got pregnant again with Emmett. So I'm really looking forward to getting back into exercise, uh, but I'm gonna do it lightly. I mean, obviously I've been through two sections. That is two big abdominal surgeries. I'm only six weeks postpartum. So I'm literally gonna be going for a walk and then moving that to a, like a brisker walk, to a power walk, to a small, jog, start and stop kind of a jog, half jog, half walk. And eventually I have like a goal from where I live and it's, I kind of want to get to one point and back jogging fully by the end of the summer. And I think that's like a realistic goal. I've also signed up to like a slimming class. Um, not, obviously I'm breastfeeding, so I'm not gonna be cutting down calories and things like that, but just one, I'm living in a new area. So it'd be a great way to meet new people, to just, um, to keep myself on track to make sure that I don't snack too much. I bloom and snack all the time. Um, and I put on loads of weight when I was, after I had Caleb when I was breastfeeding him, simply because I was bloody snacking all the time. I really don't want that to happen this time. I've lost about 10 to 14 pounds or almost a stone. Uh, simply, that was just fluid. So I didn't weigh myself 
while I was still pregnant, thank God, because the scales were really high when I got on at a week postpartum. And then I lost about 10 to 14 pounds. Well, I lost about 14 pounds or a stone. And then I think I haven't been drinking quite as much water. So it's kind of, um, I'm holding it onto a little bit more, but I basically had 10 to 14 pounds of fluid inside me. And um, yeah, I kind of thought I was eating healthy and stuff, but kind of the weight isn't coming down. I am about, I think I gained about three stone, three stone with my two pregnancies. So basically I was a one weight, a certain weight when I got pregnant with Caleb, though that I was still considered a plus size, but I had gotten down and now I am three stone heavier than that. I do think, I'm hoping a good part of it is still fluid because like that's really bad. So I would like at the end of the year to at least be my post pre-pregnancy, pre-pregnancy my baby's weight, which would be great, but I've been this weight myself before and I slimmed down to my pre-pregnancy weight before I had Caleb and so I'm gonna do it again. Um, but yeah, that is really it. I'm feeling good. I'm really feeling like my body is kind of back um, and that, yeah, I'm feeling um, positive and good. Speaking of feeling positive, I'm gonna be starting a body positivity series on my channel. I just thought I would mention it here. Uh, it's just, I'm really going, I've really found that I am loving myself right now. And I didn't think I would, especially being as heavy as I am and three stone over what I was before I even had Caleb. Um, but yeah, I will have more information over there, but do go check that out. It's gonna come out on the second Sunday of every month. So look out for that. I'm really looking forward to doing it. I'm really feeling, yeah, this positive energy and vibe and loving myself and loving my body and it's done these amazing things and just to feed it. And it's not about losing weight, it's about being happy with yourself now and not say six months down the line. And it's not just about weight loss, it's just about loving yourself and your body so uh, yeah that's gonna come out on the second Sunday of every month I think I'll do at least a three to five parter and we'll see how it goes and so yeah that is everything I would love to hear if you are postpartum how you are getting on especially those c-section mamas it is really tough I find that I can finally get up from like lying down so if I was lying down on my bed because I lie fully flat because I have to like lift up my belly to like do my scar and stuff um and I was finding like I could not get up my husband had to pull me up and I find that I can't get up now it's really really awkward but I can do it so that's great <laughs> but it's really awkward like I'm kind of I'm still a little bit like a turtle on its shell but not too badly and yeah I just I don't feel pain anymore during the day so that's really good but yeah I've got I've got one bob out of sleep. I've got one bobs outside. I just thought I would do this really quick update because it's a really busy day and I knew that if I didn't do it now, it wasn't gonna get done. If you like this, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. I would love for you to stick around. Uh, yeah, I post three times a week on a Sunday, Tuesday and Friday at 7 p.m. and I have been posting at 7 p.m. I'm so proud of myself. I've been posting at 7 p.m. So do stick around, subscribe. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's really it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.